great pleasure to welcome you to the launch of Science Gallery's 2012 program. This is actually the first time the Science Gallery has ever launched its program for the year. I'm very excited about the 2012 program uh, and it's sure to really inspire our young minds and engage young and old people alike. An edible, happy, hack the city, nano lab, game and so much more to look forward to. What we have here is the world's smallest ever QR code which we've made in CRAN to publicize the Nano Lab exhibition. Each one of those little boxes or pixels, uh, it's about a micron across, which is about one millionth of a meter. So this is a cheap party trick for the upcoming exhibition called Edible. As it coats your tongue, it changes the flavor receptors. So everything that you have that is sour will taste sweet. 2012 will provide this city with a, a major opportunity. It's going to be the European City of Science, and this will give us a major opportunity to showcase really what we are and what we have achieved here in this country. Research in science and technology is something that our young people can do here in Ireland and are doing. And every measure of that success in science and technology is made on a global basis. Ever since the first lad in a cave went, two, Jesus, two bits of flint and fire. It has always been about productivity, curiosity, scientific inquiry, and then commercializing it. Once you get those together, the economy can grow, living standards can rise, and all this hassle about the Troika and this, that, and the other will recede into the background because recessions pass. Well, I think what uh, the Science Gallery is doing is amazing because it's actually making it popular. And the key to everything is ventilating it. Well, I hope that uh, 2012 will bring Dublin onto the world stage for science. There's going to be a lot happening, there's going to be a big focus, there's going to be a lot of people coming over. I hope that it'll be an eye-opener for second-level students to really kind of see that science and technology, engineering and mathematics can kind of form a future for them. It is uh, this wonderful creative mashup, which is something I'm very interested in supporting. We need people who can work deeply with technology, of course, but we also need people who can work and engage with technology from within their preferred discipline, whatever it may be. And the Science Gallery is an amazing, vivid example of how that can work every day in every exhibition. I would say as we head into 2012, if you're not already deeply involved with the Science Gallery, I would enthusiastically, based on our experience, encourage you to join the conversation. It's a wonderful thing you're doing, and for the economy and the society, not only is it the way forward, it's the only way forward.